mod x minus 3 into mod y plus 4 equal to 12. How many pairs of integers x comma y satisfy these two equations or satisfy this equation product equal to 12. Very simple thing. Keep in mind when x and y are integers mod x and mod y are integers. And furthermore, when x and y are integers mod x minus 3 mod y plus 4 are integers. On top of that, we can see that mod y plus 4 is positive. The only way we can get 12 is positive into positive. And so now all I'm going to do is product of two integers is 12. It could be 1 into 12 or 2 into 6 or 3 into 4. The other way of writing this, it could be 12 into 1, 6 into 2, 4 into 3. All we are going to do is to solve for mod x minus 3 equal to 1, mod y plus 4 equal to 12 and see if it is feasible. Mod x minus 3 equal to 1, mod x equal to 4, mod y plus 4 equal to 12, mod y equal to 8. This seems feasible. So this is possible. Right? Remember, we have solved for mod x and mod y. We will come to the solutions for x and y later on. We will solve for mod x and mod y, then build that idea. Here, mod x minus 3 equal to 12, mod y plus 4 equal to 1. Modulus of y plus 4, mod y plus 4 is greater than or equal to 4. So mod y plus 4 cannot be 1. So this is not possible. Mod y plus 4 cannot be equal to 2, this is not possible, cannot be equal to 3, this is not possible. Straight away these 3 we can eliminate. We are dealing with only 1 into 12, 2 into 6, 3 into 4. If we do 2 into 6, mod x minus 3 is 2 or mod x is 5. Mod y plus 4 is 6 or mod y is equal to 2. Very simple. This also solution exists. Again we are counting solutions for mod x and mod y. We have not yet come to x and y. Here mod x minus 3 is 3 or mod x is 6, mod y plus 4 is 4 or mod y is 0. This is also possible. Now let's drill down 1 into 12, mod x is 4, mod y is 8. Remember if mod x is 4, x can be plus or minus 4. Mod y is 8, y can be plus or minus 8. We could have 4 and 8, minus 4 and 8, 4 and minus 8, minus 4 and minus 8. So with this alone, there are 4 possible solutions exact same idea mod x is 5 mod y is 2 four more solutions are possible phi and 2 minus phi and 2 phi and minus 2 minus phi and minus 2 mod x is 6 mod y is 0 mod y is 0 y can only be 0 this is 6 comma 0 minus 6 comma 0 two solutions possible 4 plus 4 plus 2 10 different values possible these kind of questions are very good because there's no textbook way of solving it. You have to factorize it, simplify it, do trial and error, see which ones won't work. Uh, those are those are common in competitive exams because they cannot be put on a template. People don't want people who can just have who just have some amount of mechanized rigor to get through these competitive exams. So you should have the ability to figure out something, and that gets tested very often in good exams. So keep that in mind.